guys, I'm Mott Bexos. Welcome back to my channel if you're a subscriber and welcome if you're new. So today is my second Friday Sews. I can't believe it. Two in a row. I'm quite impressed with this. Um, so I'm going to be talking about what I've been up to this past week and what I intend to get up to next week. My children are cleaning their rooms next door, so you may hear the hoover go on at some point, but I'm just happy they're cleaning, so I don't really mind. And I need to get this filmed now. So let's talk about what I've made first. So the first thing I got made up was what I'm wearing, which is this beautiful dress by, um, it's a pattern by Tammy Handmade, and it's the Raj dress, which is a square neck top, and it's got a gathered waist that's gathered in by elastic, and then it's got a ruffle skirt, and it's got these beautiful sleeves. Now I've made this, this was in my autumn plans. Um, I said that I didn't know if I'd have enough of this fabric to get it out of it, but I did, and to get the lining as well. I don't know if you can see that without me showing you my actual boobs. Um, and I also sized down because, as I've explained, I've lost weight and I double checked my measurements this time um, and I sized down. And actually, I don't think I could size down on the bottom half of the dress, but I could certainly size down again one more on the top half. But I'm really pleased with this. I think this looks lovely. Um, I will pop in some footage of me here wearing this dress so you guys can actually see what it looks like in motion. Um, and maybe a stable one. This is the second version I've made of this. I made this in a cotton lawn this time, which is a Lady McElroy fabric that I got from the Festival of Quilts. This fabric is just stunning. It's got these beautiful birds all over it. It's black, it's not too, it's not as bright as I'd normally go for, but I must admit that it's so autonomous and it's just, yeah, I love it. I absolutely love it. And I'm really pleased with how this make actually turned out. Making it in a cotton lawn made it so much easier to work with. Um, I love viscose as a drapey fabric, it's so easy to work with, but cotton lawn, it just does as it's told. So it was a nice dream to sew up and it all came together lovely. The only thing I do differently with this pattern is I construct the top slightly different to what's actually stated in the pattern. And the reason that I do that, because the first time I made this dress, where it asks you to construct the um shoulder seam or how you how you actually construct the lining on this in the pattern guidance is you sew up the front right side and front lining side and you sew up the back lining side and the back and then you join them together at the shoulder seams and what i found on my first version is i ended up with it not being flush and you could kind of tell there so what i've done this time is i've sewn the front and the back right sides together and then the lining right sides together and then I've joined them around the neckline. Now what I have done is I've gone around and actually top stitched over this just to make sure it stays down and I actually think it gives it quite a nice finish. I don't think you can overly tell. I think it, it really looks um, quite nicely done. So I am happy that I decided to go and change the way I've done that and actually I found it gave me a neater finish and inside and outside and then I also found when I came to this bit here which is the casing bit um I, it was it went a lot smoother in and I didn't end up with a wonky top and a wonky bottom they were all and some of that could have been because I was working with cotton lawn um but it was all the same size pieces and nothing had changed or felt like it had gotten out of shape so that's the first thing I got made up this week second thing I got made up was again another one out of my autumn plans was a Tabitha t-shirt dress by Tilly and the Patterns from the book Stretch. No, from the book Make It Simple. So I talked about this and I talked about using this particular fabric, which I love so much. It's so bright. It's just so pretty. I actually went on the website to have a look to see if they had any more because I really want to make something else. But this is kind of perfect for this transitional weather that we've got at the moment. Um, it's been tipping it down all day. I was on the M6 today and it was tipping it down. So I'm filming this on Thursday so I can get this out for Friday. Um, but yeah, on the M6, it was just horrible weather, but it's still quite warm and muggy despite the amount of rain and the thunder we keep getting. Every time we get thunder, I just want to hide just want to hide I don't like it um there's no need for it and it's not clearing the mugginess <laughs> shall I go back to this rather than moaning about weather um so this is um this beautiful again a fabric that I picked up from the festival of quilts it's from a company called stitched 
um, and it's a cotton jersey but it's quite a lightweight one so I can still get away with wearing it um, whilst the weather's slightly muggier. Um, it's got long sleeves so I can keep wearing it and what I've done rather than putting the drawstring waist on which I have done in a previous make I've actually put an elastic casing in. The reason that I've done that is because I couldn't be asked to do the buttonholes because it was quite a lightweight jersey and I knew they'd go wrong to be perfectly honest so I decided to do an elastic casing and actually it works really well it's very comfortable um, and I can get away with styling it with some black tights as well and you'll see I've actually got black tights on today and I'll put it on to put some footage in so you can see so I pop some footage in of me actually wearing this I love this it's such a Becky fabric it's just very me and that's exactly what my other half said when he actually saw that I'd made it. So they were the two makes that I got done this week. Now I did talk about in my Friday sews last week doing the McCall's pattern, this pattern here and I got it all cut out and I made it all up and I went horrifically wrong. Now I actually think that that fabric, the fabric I was going to use was a monsoon fabric that I got as a dead stock. I love this fabric. I initially made a hazel dress and it went wrong. And then I recut out the fabric and made this version here. And the bias binding and the gathering, I was clearly having a really bad sewing day because I messed it up so badly. I was gonna say something else then, but then realized I can't swear. Um, I messed it up so badly that I just I just went, this, this fabric's telling me it doesn't want me to work with it. It's clearly gonna look awful on me. I'm just gonna give up and throw it in the bin, which is exactly what I did. Sorry guys, I've got an itchy nose. I've had a bit of a cold this week. Um, so yeah, sorry. I just, I feel like I need to sneeze and I'm trying not to do it on camera. So yeah, this went wrong. I will try it again with a different fabric and uh, see how I get on. So that is in my plans in the near future to get done because a long sleeve top would be amazing. Um, so I did try and get something else sewn up. Just, yeah, wasn't having that day. Um, the next thing that I did at the beginning of the week was also cut out two patterns to work on next. So I talked about getting the Friday pattern company Davenport dress made up. Um, in the red fabric with the leaves all over it and I did share it in my September plan so if you want to see it pop over and have a look at that video um, so that is something for me to start working on over this weekend and I'm really looking forward to it the other thing I shared in my September plans vlog was a pair of another pair of kimono pants um, exactly what I shared last week but in a black viscose with white polka dots all white polka dots all over it just to have something a little bit more neutral tie into my wardrobe that I can pair with some of my louder colours. Um, but I did think it looked really nice with a white viscose Anthea Allen blouse. Anthea Allen? No, Anna Allen Anthea blouse as well. And I did dig through my fabric and found some white viscose. So that might be another thing to add into my plans at some point. So they're the sort of things that I think I'm gonna start making up over the weekend and into next week. Next week will be less chaotic for me at work and less chaotic with me with my secretarial commitments of our social club and football club. So um, I'm really looking forward to just getting some sewing done because I feel like with the kids going back to school this week, it's been a bit of a manic week, um, getting back into routine and whatnot. I've just, yeah, it's been a bit of a nightmare. So I, I overcommitted myself this week, guys, well and truly overcommitted myself. So the other thing that I really wanted to share with you this week was the fact that I had ordered two new patterns. I watched the fold line vlog on Tuesday morning, I think Tuesday or Wednesday, I think it was. Um, it's their latest vlog and it was some ideas for autumn. Fantastic vlog. If you haven't seen it, pop over and check it out. They, um, I'd never purchased from the fold line before, but I've heard lots about them. And I was really, really impressed by some of the patterns that they were sharing. That I then went on and looked at them in a bit more detail. There was a couple that I was interested in. Um, and then I put quite a few in my basket. I think I totaled my basket up to about £100 and then thought I can't spend that on patterns. I know I'm banning myself from fabric, but I can't spend that on patterns. So um, I dropped uh, quite a few out, then reconsidered what it was I wanted and I did order two. So the first one I ordered was the Nina Lee Camille jumpsuit. Um, I've seen quite a few versions of this now. It's a very flattering jumpsuit. Um, 
and there's various different variations and I thought this would be a great layering piece in the autumn um, with some fabric so I could maybe wear my patina blouses underneath them or I could wear some of my birder plain tees, long sleeve tees um, that I've got. I just thought there'd, there'd be quite a different way, a few ways I could wear it. I could make a frayer top and pair that underneath it. Um, yeah, so there's lots of different, all the traffic going past, sorry guys. There's lots of different things that I could do um, with this particular pattern. So that should be here. I did order the copy shop as well on it. So I'm kind of hoping that, um, that it'll all come and it'll be great and I can just get stuck into it. I've made sure that I've got all the notions for when it comes as well because I'm really keen to get that one done ASAP because I've got some fabric that I could do it in that would be perfect to take on holiday with me as well as without wearing anything underneath it. I think that that would be lovely for holiday. Um, so that was the first pattern I ordered and the second pattern, this was inspired by a few people. I've been watching Adele over at Sofa Serenity and watching the um, Heather Blaise of Twile. She's been posting a few bits or sharing where she's got to in her actual Twile. Um, and I love the fabric she's gonna do her final version in. Um, so that has really pushed me over the edge to buy the Heather Blazer. Um, but obviously the fold line was sharing their versions. I loved Rowan's um, pink gingham from the Yorkshire Sewer Girls version that she did earlier this year as well. Um, there's just been too many people influencing this one. And I just think, right, that'd be great as an addition to my wardrobe. I could wear it for work, depending on what fabric I choose. Or I could wear it out and about when I'm going down the pub having a lovely glass of wine I think that would be perfect too so I have also purchased those two patterns um what else have I got to share with you I don't think there's really anything else to share with you the question this week um for the viewers was um what unconventional sewing tools do you use I don't really think I have any unconventional sewing tools that I use um so there's not really anything to elaborate on that but what unconventional sewing tools do you guys use? That would be really interesting to know. Um, yeah, no, I think I, I'm i very basic in the tools that I actually use. I've got my, obviously my sewing machine. I've got a safety pin for turning things out. I haven't got a turn in loop or anything like that. I've got my little snips, um, obviously my pins, um, my chalk. Uh, yeah, when I, when I look at my actual sewing tools, I haven't got that many. There's things that I'd like to get. There's just noise everywhere. Um, that is my daughter's boyfriend's mum picking up. Um, so yeah, I haven't really got anything else that I could really use there. So, um, or, or say, there's nothing unconventional anyway. So I think that's about everything for me. This week I'm gonna hopefully get on with my Davenport dress and I'll have that to show for you next week. Um, maybe my kimono trousers as well to have to share with you next week um and yeah and hopefully my patterns will arrive um but i've already shared with you what i'm getting so maybe i would have made a start on one of them um and my so Haley jane box as well so i know a lot of people have had theirs and i had to watch adele's vlog to see what i was getting because she also subscribes to the luxury box as well um the atelier dupe fabric looks amazing I like it but I need to I need to see it because I don't think it's in my colour palette I think it's a beautiful fabric but I'm not entirely sure it's something I would be able to wear um, and feel comfortable in when I saw the thread that she shared it was quite a dark brown and I thought oh that that means it's something I could potentially wear but um actually when she shared the fabric although I think it's beautiful I'm not entirely sure it's something I can use so I'm dying to get my box to see but the new Tilly and the Buttons pattern is in there. I was absolutely right. The sneak peek she gave us at it, perfect. And I can see the version that I want to attempt of that already. So I'm sure that that will creep into my plans soon. So I'm really hoping that arrives tomorrow in time for the weekend. Um, but we'll just see. My postman hasn't been for the last couple of days, so I don't really know. Okay, guys, happy Friday. Have a fantastic weekend. I hope you get some sewing done and I will catch you all next week. Bye.